Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. I've seen a bunch of people here on YouTube talk about the modifications that they've made to their Mora knife and sheath, and I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of my modifications. Now, I only made two modifications to the knife itself. Number one, I ground the spine to a 90 degree angle. Now, the reason is, is because when it comes from factory, that spine's a bit rounded, which means you're not able to strike fire steels well. But with a grinder or a file, you're able to get a crisp 90 degree angle, and with that, you can light fire steels easily. The other thing I did is I took this and made it into a drop point. Now, the reason reason is is because like many moras the tip of this knife broke off and so instead of just taking the top of the clip point down I decided to put a um, a drop point on it and the reason is is because drop points penetrate material better and so I much prefer drop points over clip points and I thought I'd like a drop point mora. Most of the modifications I've done, I've done to the sheath. Number one, I decided to narrow this clip down. Now what that does is this allows me to attach this to molly webbing. So I just took a grinder and I ground this side and then I ground this side and took any of the spurs off with a knife. It's not exactly a pretty job, but it does what I need it to do. The other things I've done is I created this holder for a fire steel. Now the way I did that is I took a pen, if I remember correctly it was a dry erase marker, and I found one that was roughly the same diameter as my uh, fire steel, and I just cut it off to length and then duct taped it to this sheath. So this actually has a foot of duct, duct tape under all this, and that duct tape can come in handy if I ever needed to, uh, but for now it's used to keep this fire steel holder in place. And it works very well. Uh, it has a bit of retention, and it keeps my fire steel nice and tight. Now after that, I wrapped the whole entire sheath with paracord. Paracord is always useful, whether it be for, for tying down things or for, uh, it, seeing as I have a bandana, it makes a good splint holder, or it makes a good uh, sling strap, things like that. So it's good to have paracord, and it's roughly 10 feet around this uh, sheath. Besides a fire steel and paracord, there's three other items I've t attached to the sheath using ranger bands. I've attached a bandana, a lighter, and a uh, ceramic sharpening rod. Now, let's go over each of these in turn. The reason why I did a bandana is a bandana can be used for a lot of different things. It can be used for straining water, it can be used for gathering water, it can be used for covering, it can be used as a bandage, it can be used for all different sorts of things. Uh, so it comes in really handy in a, a bunch of different ways when you're out there in the wilderness. The next thing I have is a lighter, and I of course have a fire steel, but sometimes it's easier to use a lighter, especially if it's raining outside. And uh, when you have this lighter, you can use the ranger bands here as fuel for fire starting. That's definitely a plus when you're trying to get a fire started in wet weather. And then finally I have a ceramic sharpening rod. And that's one I picked up a long time ago. It works pretty well and it just enables me to put a nice razor sharp edge on my Mora knife. So these are the modifications that I've done to the Mora knife and sheath. If you have any suggestions or comments, please put them in the comment section below or PM me directly. Please share this video and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.